What's going on? Welcome back to Dynamic Character Productions. It's the X Interviews. I'm one of the hosts, Lauren Pratt, along with my co-host, McKenna Feeney. And we're joined by always by the girl, Lily, with all the questions. But today, <laughs> most importantly, we are joined by our fourth place finisher, Bill. Bill, Bill. this Bill. close, <laughs> this close. This close, this close. <laughs> oh, we are so happy to have you here. Um, I was definitely one pushing you to play this this game. As soon as I saw you got rocked out of exile, I was like, we're having a mini. Bill, apply for this. Be free. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I'm, I'm so glad you did. Um, yeah, I had, I had great fun. First, love you guys. Always glad to be able to see you. But yeah. Um, yeah, that was good fun. It was interesting. <laughs> you were such a joy to to watch on this season, and with our our draft picks, I knew I had no st- chance in getting you again for because oh. um, I had you for exile. I, I was like, mm, Greg's here, Ian's here, Morgan's here, <laughs> everyone's here that are gonna want to pick you. So sad oh. I didn't have you on my team again, but. I I would have loved to have been there, but uh, yeah, it was that close. That close. <laughs> What's but, worse, getting rocked out or being fourth in line? Which one is worse? <laughs> which is worse? Um, I don't know. I kind of liked both of them. I mean, the rock thing, if it had been a couple of rounds later, that would have been better. But still, yeah, I rocked out. Okay, that's <laughs> one off of the org list. But yeah, yeah it's, it's it's always fun to go as long as you can. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, yeah, close, close, but no cigar here. Was this yeah. season a bit triggering for you with two rock draws? <laughs> no! <laughs> I was joyous. <laughs> First one, I had immunity, and all of a sudden it came up rocks, and I was like, "Yes, I'm gonna watch." <laughs> and then, lo and behold, the second one, I'm tied for a vote. So, I mean, that was actually very exciting that there were two rock draws, mm-hmm. and they had absolutely nothing to do with me. I got to just sit there and watch the wheels. <laughs> so you got to chill for that situation, but I have to ask: Did you have a little bit of? You know, PTSD, because again, another blindfold challenge. Yes. <laughs> yes. There was. The same exact blindfold challenge. Yep. Might I add, yes. Yes, yes there was. Um, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I just don't. In terms of winding up in that role again. Now, there were fewer pieces because if I recall in this one, it was just rolling the dice, correct? There were no step. Oh, no, 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 there was a puzzle on the other end because it, my it was, my the, word, brother it was the word puzzle, yep. But but there wasn't the uh stacking of bolts on mm-hmm. the front right, end. and I, I actually practiced that after. <laughs> I can knock that out and nothing flat. <laughs> but we got to that part and, you know, James had the puzzle locked down. James is taking the puzzle without a doubt. And then all of a sudden, everyone's like, Celestina, you take the lead. And I would actually be very good, I think, as the caller in that. Mm-hmm. Because I, I, you know, you have to sort of control people. And so if you're going to do everyone at once... You've got to be able to control people. Mm-hmm. But Celestina was locked into that. So I was like, <laughs> yeah. So let's say the one thing I probably didn't practice was blindfolded dice. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> next time, next time, you know, just in case. Yes. Right. But and before- we can't talk about 
Oh, yeah, I was ahead. just going to say before the <laughs> blindfolded dice, Lily, what did we have? It is the skunk. And we went over this with JM. We talked with them about it. So we want to give you an open floor to talk about what happened. Do you stand by not knowing it was a skunk? I said with JM, I would have never known. So I am with <laughs> you. <laughs> Jay, I love you, but I don't know what the hell you were doing there. <laughs> um, we start out, I, I was all psyched because I like totally kicked ass on my <laughs> T-Rex. And then Jay comes up and I'm like, I have no idea what you're doing. They had, they were going with very small movements. And I was like, okay, you got to go bigger for me. And then when they did the hold your nose, which should have been the biggest clue, then I swear they did something with their hands. I think sort of waved them going down. So now I'm thinking, is it a mermaid? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I was never even close to skunk. So, so mm -hmm. I'll take a piece of this. <laughs> I'll definitely take a piece of this. But not the whole pie. You'll take yeah, a piece not, of the pie, but not the whole one. Not even, I'll take like <laughs> a small, small slice of portion. But Jay, you know, I love you forever. <laughs> bound by the skunk. Bound by the skunk. <laughs> no better way uh, <laughs> to say that. But so after your tribe wins that or loses that excuse me challenge um we kind of hear it's either jm or you but then there's a medevac and we don't really hear your name for a long while which you know you didn't go to a lot of tribes pre-merge but why do you think that was that even though you had that initial blowout we don't hear your name come up well i think a piece of it is that when we got back and had to scramble um, you know, of course, it's obvious it's Jay or me, so I'm immediately tossing their ass under the bus. <laughs> and I get to a room very quickly with my my man Tom, Brochacho, Brochacho, <laughs> and um, Brett and James, and we pretty much immediately sort of lock in and say, we're a four. Mm -hmm. And I actually believe it. And it was true um, until the swap. Um, and I knew Tom, my brochacho, I don't know if I need context on this. Tom and I played a game together once. We were paired together as the mayor of Slamtown and Dr. Hubicki. Mm -hmm. um, so we were the brochachos and worked together through that whole thing. So Tom was the only person I knew. Um, and in fact, I had, I had poked him into joining the game. I sent him the app and all of that good stuff. Um, so he, he was very slick then on his application, not mentioning, Hey, Bill sent me this application because we oh, had no, no. We had no you idea know. that you guys knew each other. Oh, okay. Otherwise, well, was... we would have not been on the same drive. <laughs> right. I was like, when we found out that you both knew each other, we all said, excuse me? We would have, like, <laughs> face bomb. Oh, um, yeah. I, and I had no idea that he was playing. Mm -hmm. I was just, you know, a couple of days before, I just, down to the kindness of my heart, sent it to mm -hmm. three or four people. And I wasn't even trying to seed the pot there, although yeah, yeah. it worked. <laughs> but um, so, yeah, and I also knew Tom would have my back and Tom is Tom mm -hmm. and Tom is very forceful. So I felt very comfortable that I would have survived the first, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is why I was sorry for the medevac, but glad for the medevac because it kept Jay in the game. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, we, we kept winning challenges and it got a little frustrating. 
rating because I'm trying to think. I don't think I went to another tribal until March. I don't think you did. No, I think you're right. No, that you because you swapped then with new DAC deck and new mm-hmm. DAC right. deck never went to a tribal council uh, before the merge. It was only right. quota right. after that first um, charades challenge. Right. And it was making me <laughs> crazy. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. I, I could tell while editing, you like, I just want to play. <laughs> I mean, I was I was having the ner- a nervous breakdown after. <laughs> I'm like, we have to be able to do something because it's always, you know, if you're not in tribal council and then you get to go back to your your encampment. Nobody's going to leave the room Mm -hmm. because no one wants to be that person. Mm -hmm. And so that led us to the great Chipotle debate. Oh, yeah. (laughs) And, And it was also weird. I mean, part of me was a little glad it got on Chipotle because, um, I mean, this was, obviously, I'm an old fart. <laughs> and I'm always playing with people who are half my age or less. But this at least struck me as like a very young cast in that, you know, we'd, we'd go into the rooms and then people would start, I can, I can keep up a conversation mm-hmm. even about stuff that happened after the turn of the millennium. <laughs> but they're talking about music artists I've never heard of. Video games I have just never heard of. And I'm just dying here going, oh my God, you've got to be able to, to, to engage in conversation. And everybody was wonderful. It was just really hard. Mm-hmm. Um so, so that was the challenge. That was the whole challenge pre-merge, was being able to establish those relationships when you're stuck in one big room and half the time people are talking about stuff you got nothing to say about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, that's interesting because I guess as a viewer, I didn't see any of that. You know, right. I didn't see a disconnect of you between the other players so I initially was going to ask you know do you think your relate previous relationship with Tom was more of a hindrance because we even saw in the episodes Brett kind of pairs you two together do you think it kind of stopped your game more than you thought or tightened your game more than you thought it could have or did it help you more because you weren't making the connections you were hoping I I think um I mean, I think it helped or it certainly didn't hurt. That first round, it definitely helped mm-hmm. because I actually, without sounding obnoxious, I was pretty damn sure I wasn't going anywhere the first round. <laughs> In between the group of four and because I knew Tom was going to go out and, and cover my ass. Um, I mean, further on... No, because we were all in that same boat in terms of establishing those relationships to the extent we were all in the same room. I mean, mm-hmm. people could come back and, you know, I probably contributed to those those group conversations less than most, but, you know, I did my avuncular head shakes and grins, so maybe they thought I was engaged. Meanwhile, I... <laughs> You had the monkey I, with the symbols. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, you know, and but in the meantime, my head is going a thousand miles an hour going, oh, we have to start playing this game soon, please. <laughs> so, so with that in mind, you get to the merge, you're kind of anxious. Who are you thinking of working with? And what is kind of in a perfect world? Who is your final three within that group? Well, at the beginning of Merge, I was I was thinking of working with Tom. Um, and 
And and let's first say by March time, we're in this, what, we're about six and a half, seven hours in? Maybe a Something little like bit. that. <laughs> you know, y'all didn't do the best at the challenges at the beginning, so you kind of... You know, like eight hours in, maybe. <laughs> So, so I've just worked an entire shift. So I mean, yeah. by this time, by this time, you know, I may be starting to hallucinate a little bit. Mm. Um, but but going in, I really wanted to work with. Um, I wanted to get back with James, um, Tom. Um, I really wanted to work with. Garrett and JS. Mm-hmm. One thing Garrett wanted nothing to do with me this week. <laughs> I don't know why. Garrett you're for a some threat, Bill, you're a threat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I really wanted to work with, with Garrett because I know he was gonna get messy and sloppy and wild, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. is exactly what I wanted to do too. So I was like, let's go create some havoc. Um and and Celestina. Um, those were the primary people I would have liked to have brought together. Mm-hmm. Um, in that first merge round, I think it was that round where, you know, it seemed obvious in the scramble that the two people who were on the block were JS and Garrett. And I think that was the round that Celestina got emotional about that. And I was like, I was in the room with the two of them. And I was like, A, feeling for her, but B, going, we can make something happen here. Mm -hmm. Except for the fact that I still wasn't entirely sure. I wanted to get JS and Garrett out of the room. So Mm -hmm. Celestine and I could actually talk about it to make sure we were on board and because we needed two other votes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of like, guys, could you go? Um, And when they finally went, I didn't get a chance to talk to her there. I'd Mm -hmm. say that was one mistake in my game is that when I saw, especially when I saw where Celestina was, that I didn't more fully take advantage of that opportunity. Um, because that by that time, too, I was like, straight on, Brett, I see you, man. I see <laughs> um, Ian pulled me into a confessional um, right at Merck. And he was like, who do you think was playing the best game? Like, I had to think about it for a minute, but I'm like, Brett. It's obviously Brad. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And yet he doesn't receive a single vote besides his winning know. votes all season. Nope. <laughs> and, and, and that should have been where I started that role. And I didn't. And, mm-hmm. and that was a mistake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was going to be one of my questions at final seven. I thought this was perfect as a viewer. You say, you know who's playing a great game? Brett and Celestina. (laughs) And as it's already come out, we know that they're the ones that go to Final Tribal. Why do you think you don't don't harp on them so early? Because it was hard to catch on or you don't think you could have gotten the votes? Probably more of the second. I mean, like I said, I, I... Sort of had Brett mm-hmm. in, mm-hmm. in, in sight, um, but there was Garrett, and everybody was so frustrated with Garrett yeah. uh, that that's what the focus on. And like I said, the first couple of rounds, I was kind of chasing him from room to room, going, "Dude, dude, work with me." Let's work together. Um, you know, trying to get him sort of alone so we could do that, but there were always other people there so that I couldn't come out and actually try to start making a deal. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I think it was 
largely everyone was so focused until we got to the Tom vote. Everybody was so focused on either Garrett or Jay that there really wasn't a, a whole lot of forward thinking mm -hmm. about what happens um, when it gets down to deck deck versus deck deck. It's a lot of decks. <laughs> uh, and then, and I'm still in my sort of, okay, we're finally getting to play mode. Um, so <laughs> when there was, it was, when was Tom? Tom was at eight. Nine. Tom was Tom was voted out at eight. It was James at nine, Tom at eight. And then finally you were like, all right, Tom's out of here. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And I a part of me felt a little bad about that, especially because I think we may have had a conversation just before that or sometime in that round where we sort of pledged final two to each other, which I never do mm. in a game. I never say the words final two, which may be a bad thing, but then yeah. I can always shank you, shank you later. <laughs> um, but here I was, I was, I was semi-delirious from time. <laughs> I was like, okay, we need to make this exciting. I had vaguely heard Tom's name. So I was like, I love you, dude, but sorry. So you knew he would be going home at that tribal council that you put his name down or you just kind of had a suspicion and maybe your vote could like inch it over? I, I wasn't a hundred percent sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought there was a pretty decent chance. And so I was like, okay, one way or the other, you know, either I'll be able to say I went with the majority Mm -hmm. or I'll just really screw things up <laughs> create and create havoc. And, and either of those sounded like a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could see it. You answered a lot of my questions because I was going to ask, Garrett throws out your name at the JS vote. And I think it's because he kind of sees you and Brett as a pair. We start to see people are kind of bunching you together. Did you start to feel like you and Brett were working together or was it just by happen chance you were just throwing your votes in the same place? I think it was happenstance. I kind of lost, I came into the merge and I was thinking, oh, that Brett guy. <laughs> I mean, everybody lost track of him. He, mm -hmm. he doing a great job going out and planting seeds and stuff but I rarely I think I only heard his name once or twice and no one was ever taking it seriously um, and I think one of those times I said that name and then sort of got a look where it's like okay I immediately have mm. to that back in but what about Brett or anyone. <laughs> um, so, so, yeah. So, okay. we, yeah, we, we did not work together post-merge. We did not work against each other, but at least on my end, part of that was lack of opportunity. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. So we get to Final Four, and it's essentially... Oh. Oh. Wait, 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 before we get there, given the first yeah. half of this conversation, can we throw a little respect on my immunity win, please? Oh, yeah. we can huh. very much throw respect on your immunity win. <laughs> See, blame Lily. She's the one with the question and all this, and she forgot. It's her fault. I mean, like I said, that whole part of the game can fall into a deep sort of fuzz, but. Well, Bill, I don't know if you've heard on all these exit interviews, you're more than welcome to participate in this wall sit <laughs> challenge that we've apparently oh. got going on for this reunion. Yeah. I, I am undefeated in org wall sits. Well, oh, wow. wait a minute. We have a club here then. This is going to be an intense 
an intense wall sit. All right, look out for this reunion. It'll be airing on Monday, um, where we will have a wall sit challenge between these uh, endurance challenge masters, apparently. So we'll see who the true winner is. And we have Brett's time, so we can compare times to see if Brett really would have (laughs) held the longest wall sit. Might I say, though, no one comes close to me smoking everyone in season one when we have this competition before, so. (laughs) Yeah, if you can beat seven minutes, (laughs) Lauren will try again. (laughs) But, um, yeah. Bill's like, I don't know. (laughs) Well, it's... My longest was just over five. Mm -hmm. So... Which is longer than Brett's. And I was... I guess we we'll get to that, but when I heard it was a walk, but, but no, I don't. Jay am confident that they are going. And so to be is Jay S. The Jays are both very <laughs> confident. <laughs> they're, they're battling it out. <laughs> See, but I, I, I just, I, I would love for you to kick their asses. <laughs> contest because anytime I can crush like twenty-five to thirty-year-olds in an endurance contest, just, just. It totally makes my heart full. It, and it makes us so happy that you were oh, the one to win that. I call it bullshit because you don't throw individual immunity challenges in Survivor. You throw individual immunity challenges in Big Brother. This is not Big Brother. Anyway, <laughs> I just I just hijacked this for, for no. Five it's fine. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad you did. Yeah. Well, my my question was actually going to be: We see you and Brett duking it out at Final Four. You know, you've you've talked about how you're a little bit older than this cast, even though we've seen you win and endurance I don't think they would remember that so did you think of playing up you know I'm not going to win the final three challenge it compared to Brett we I was wanted you to say that so bad and do you think because you knew you would get it um you had good odds no I actually didn't I tried to take that route and I'll Jump back for a minute. I would say my other mistake in the game was being so incredibly mad at Jay M that I didn't even think mm. about voting him out at five. But um, <laughs> no, I hadn't thought f- forward as to whether or not it would have been the the immunity cha- the immunity challenge would have been endurance, which is actually. Mm point i was at this stage of the game i mean i knew garrett was coming for me i had to some degree right or wrong um pegged brett and celestina as working together um so if i were going to survive that i had to make myself the goat and i had to completely convince them that i was the goat and then say screw you buddy I lied when we get to uh tribal council Mm -hmm. and so I did try to work it off Brett said something along the lines of well you know we got separated when we went on to uh the other tribe after merge and so then I tried to just sell it's like no I'm an old guy you guys got to bond over all this being young while I'm sitting here and drinking my insure and trying to (laughs) I'm not sure. <laughs> and, and I thought, I don't know, I thought I might make some inroads with that. I think the only, and I just don't understand why they didn't, because if you look at, at that point, if I think it was, it was everyone's collective impression that if Garrett makes final tribal he wins Mm -hmm. if Brett makes final tribal he wins so I don't think if you are I think if you are there with Brett I don't think it's hands down Brett's it Garrett is a different story because he came from like the bottom fighting from the two 
and stuff like that. Right. But I think you have the best shot against Brett other than Garrett. Yeah, and and well, thank you. And, but um, yeah, I think so. If I got into final, I think I could talk my way past. Yeah, Mr. Lawyer uh, over here. Yeah. I, I, I think, yeah, I think Garrett had the challenge or Garrett was a challenge for anyone, which is why JM, it could have been an entirely different game. I don't know what you were doing at five, but I love you. <laughs> I would have loved to if what had if what was supposed to happen had happened and Garrett had gone out at six um, I really wanted to go to the end with uh, Celestina and JM um, a specialist I, final three <laughs> there you go um, JM because they are my skunk brother. <laughs> uh, Celestina, because she kept me from throwing myself off of a bridge during the dice challenge. Um, <laughs> but I, when I found out it was the final two, I thought, oh my gosh, JM and I in the final two would be, <laughs> would be such. That would have been hilarious. Almost the first two story. boots. In the yes. final, yeah. that <laughs> would have been a full been circle great. arc. <laughs> but, but, but alas, I tried. I tried my "don't vote out Grandpa Bill" bit, and they didn't buy didn't, it. <laughs> they didn't buy it, which just says something to your game. <laughs> Either that, or they disrespect their elders. I <laughs> Well, if you could play real Survivor or another orb with anybody on this cast, who would you pick and why? Well, I'm going to amend that because Alex actually has a question similar. So if you could make an all-star alliance using two people from Exile and two people from Iruriki to make a five, a group of five, who would you pick? Ooh. And no pressure to pick Lauren and I. We won't I, take I was about to say, like... <laughs> um, no, oh, and I'm gonna exclude Tom since you've already like fully yes. been. Oh, good, yeah. Tom. Okay. From this cast, I would say Garrett, mm -hmm. in order to make a total mess. <laughs> JM, because we are Order of the Skunk. And, and I think they would, they would contribute significantly to making a rowdy mess, mm -hmm. although whether or not it would be intentional. <laughs> sure, I love him, Jay. Um, let's see, Exile. Okay, I am going to exclude the two of you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Obviously, obviously it would be the two of you i mean if you uh, want to add to them if you want to add to the mess you pick lauren like if you want to just create the <laughs> chaos alliance pick well, lauren and Mackenzie, and then you'll you're set for chaos well but with 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 lily we were only just starting to get to know each other um but with lily i i would have loved to play with you. I think we would have played mm -hmm. together very well. And you're so nice <laughs> that when it got towards the end and people said things like, oh, well, Bill has a decent social game. I could sit there and go, no, Lily. <laughs> Everyone loves Lily. <laughs> cut her throat. Uh, <laughs> excluding, excluding you two, I'd have to go with, with my boys with Greg and with Simmons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good one. Those, for, for the short time I was there, um, those were my people. Mm -hmm. Or if I really want to trick. create an unintentional havoc, I would bring Mackenzie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's, that's what we were saying. Yeah, that's a good choice. <laughs> so well. Yeah. Um, so we will continue with some Facebook questions. Um, this is from our dear friend, Ian, uh, Bill, hello, fellow king. 
Loved seeing you back on DCP. What do you think is the biggest difference besides the time of the minis versus the long games? As a vet, how can a newbie best prepare themselves for one of the games since you've played in now both of ours? Right. Um, they both have sort of their ups and downs. The biggest difference... I think you have to go in with a little bit of a different mindset because the relationships you can establish are very different. It's in a mini, it's sort of boom, 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 boom. And you have, you know, it's maybe unless we totally screw up a challenge, you've got maybe 45 minutes or 40 minutes around everything Mm -hmm. from comp to tribal and so unless you're kind of sitting there um staring at each other in in uh at the camp because you're not a tribal it's all very boom 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 so that you try to get the oh getting to know you chats Mm -hmm. those are necessarily abbreviated Long game, you have the opportunity to try to establish those relationships uh, because not only are you on camera, but you can talk and chat during the off hours. Um, And so that I found that in the long game, I was thinking in the beginning a whole lot more about relationships and the people than I was about strategy, which mm-hmm. may explain some things. But um, so, yeah, it's sort of a different mindset in that, at least for me, you have the opportunity to get to know people better and get to know who you can work with better in a long game. The flip side of that is that the long game is exhausting, not only because it it goes for long, but it's, I mean, everybody seems to talk forever. I mean, I would spend, I would spend like two, maybe three hours a day on the phone and doing chats and shit. And I thought I got this locked. (laughs) And I realized people are spending all day just going off and doing this stuff and this is how yeah. um so it is a different it is a different experience it's a great experience because you do actually get to know people yeah. but yeah so kind of what i'm gathering is if you want to test out your strategic with a background of social game go for the mini if you want to test out your social with a background of strategic go for the long game it's amazing how you can take five minutes of my blathering and put it into <laughs> And that's why I edit all the confessionals, Bill. <laughs> but yes, that that's that's it on the nose. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, your good buddy Greg has a question for you. Um, who is your strongest social or strategic relationship in the game, aside from Tom, I'm going to add? That one's kind of hard because in this game, you know, other than Tom, I really did not have a lock and load. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did not have a ride or die. Um, I would say either Jay or Celestina, although Celestina might be surprised by that. <laughs> I mean, first, she's very good socially. Um, and especially after round 10, from a game perspective, I, I kept trying to nudge her towards the part where she would be comfortable abandoning deck deck strong. After mm-hmm. the top vote, we were immediately in a room and she was very upset that she did not know what that vote was. Um, so I, I, we talked for a little bit and I tried to get her down off the ledge and I was Mm -hmm. like, okay, so now let's us do it. 
Who do you want to go for? <laughs> just, just pick a name and we'll get them out. Sorry, Ben. Um, <laughs> so I did feel some level of closeness with her because of that, because she's such a good social player. And again, so because she kept me from stroking out during the dice challenge. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have a question from Stephen. Bill, what's wrong with your camera? <laughs> Watching that back? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, I'm going to put it to, I think it was pretty okay. No, no, no. It was horrible on the dice thing. So it Yeah, was, yeah. I think I, after the dice, it just went, <laughs> it started right. going downhill. Right. Well, the damn thing. Anytime we had you move your camera for like a challenge or something, yeah. it threw everything off. Yeah. So, I mean, I was going to attribute it to um, delirium mm. after like the first six hours or so. Yeah. But no, <laughs> I was going for a little, you know, you needed a little artistic touch in there. Mm -hmm. You needed a little cinema verite. Yes, a exactly. Little... Thank you for prov providing that. Yes, it was, it was the org version of the Blair Witch Project. Yeah, I got very, <laughs> I got very comfortable with just your right eye. <laughs> I mean, I'm watching when I was watching the back, I was like, how did that happen? Well, like, you gotta bug I, Tom. He said he was gonna get you a new camera set up. So so keep keep pestering him for your new camera. I got nothing, Tom. <laughs> and then um last Facebook question. Well, not really a question, just a statement from JM saying, Bill, hashtag skunk brothers for life, and thanks for calling me a villain. Did I call? Oh, this was, I think this was out of game. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so I was uh, like, I don't remember that, but okay. <laughs> I love you, my skunk brother. Order of the skunk forever. All right. And then <laughs> we got a question from our Instagram account. If you don't know, we have an Instagram. We post a bunch of fun stories and a lot of our upcoming information, schedules, and cast reveals, all exclusive content to our Instagram account at DCP underscore org. It's on the end card if you need it right now or in the description. But you got a question from Alex, the winner of your season, Alex Cousins. Um, my man, Bill, what's your main pitch to the jury if you had made it there? Um, I should have been out in the very first round. Mm -hmm. I worked from the bottom, not only because of the how badly I did at those challenges and got my ass saved, but also because there was to some degree a general generational divide and, and I could bond less. And I just played that up regardless of how mm -hmm. true it was. Um, I kicked a bunch of 20 something year olds asses in mm -hmm. endurance comp. Um, and I've made it all the way through without my name coming up except for that person who we couldn't get to die in terms of <laughs> yeah so, so you know i i think i am not i i stuck out so dramatically differently i think from the other players just mm -hmm. in terms of uh demographics and stereotypes and everything else that um i deserve it <laughs> and then this is a question from me would you have voted out my mom no <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> what is wrong with those people i really think she should have played it up more mm. i don't think she told anyone did she she didn't because we we thought it would be like something that would get her voted out, in my opinion. Yeah, 
But no, even even from the situation, as I recall, um, she was robbed. Your mom. <laughs> robbed, hashtag robbed queen. Ah, uh-huh, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, that is all our social questions. Lily, the final question for Bill, which he's answered before. Yes. So we're going to ask it again. If you could sum up your game in one word for Eriki Island, what would it be and why? Knuckleheaded. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Knuckleheaded. I just think I let a couple of opportunities pass by. Um, so, and I had all the rest of the pieces in place. So I'm going to go with knuckleheaded. Knuckleheaded is a great word anyway. It's, it's severely underused. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. And I speak for pretty much, I think all of production. We would love to have you on every season that we have. You, we are all your biggest fans. And, and thank you for playing again under our umbrella. You know, I love you all and you do such a great job putting on this show and, uh, and yeah, it's, it's, I've had a great time both times. So, you know, I keep telling you when it comes to, um, at some point you're going to have enough people that you can have the, the rocks versus something or in all rock (laughs) season, like we're, we're ready for it. (laughs) could get a, an all rock season but rocks versus idols and for your mom um versus completely unfair votes based upon performance in ping pong ball challenge okay great <laughs> we'll we'll note that thank okay. you Bill. all right lauren take us home bill once again thank you so much for playing i am so glad to be on the other side of it and got to host you instead of playing in the game with you, different perspective on my end, but I enjoyed having you on the season. Everyone else, be sure to check out everything we have over at Dynamic Character Productions. Be sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out everything that we have on the Facebook page. There's a lot there, lots of content, lots of fun. Be sure to join on in. And once again, McKenna, thank you. Lily, thank you. Bill, have a good night. <laughs>